Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dave. It's a wonderful Friday. It's beautiful weather outside. But I switched my morning around a little bit today and got some work done on the computer. Feeling academic today. And uh, need to catch up, so I'm watching some educational video while I'm on the treadmill. It's a little bit harder to do while running outside. But I had this memory that came to me today of when I was a past president or president of the Kiwanis Club at Castle Loma. And I'm always encouraging people to try and create great experiences in their life every day. And I tell you, being a member, and I'm still a member, the Kiwanis Club of Castle Loma is the opportunity to work with young people. And uh, I think my camera's falling. Hopefully it stays there. But I remember when I was the president, in our budget, the president got a discretionary fund, a few hundred dollars every year, to give back to the community in some way that the president thought was cool. And of course we gave thousands of dollars to the community every year on a regular budget and to new opportunities. But this was special for the president, so I actually hadn't used it the whole year. And we were coming to the end of the year and, you know, the secretary of the club at that time and our administrator came to me and said, what do you want to use it for? And we have these youth groups that we work with in the high schools called Key Clubs. And I said, I'd like to get as many copies of a book into those clubs as possible to help the kids learn something that they're not going to learn while they're in class. So we got them copies of Think and Grow Rich. And I remember some of the members of my club learning about this and finding out. And they asked, why are you giving a book to the youth that's focused on making money? And it was kind of ironic, now that I look back, because the richness in our life doesn't come from money. Money won't make you feel rich. Money can make you wealthy, and it can surely be part of a good life, a happy life. But the richness in your life comes from learning strategies and tactics that help you progress more than you have setbacks or challenges, because there will always be setbacks and challenges. And, uh, you know, being functional in this life, understanding the benefits of healthy food, understanding fitness, getting it done when you can, multitasking, but with your health. You know, these are strategies and tactics that chiropractors know very well. Naturopaths, homeopaths, acupuncturists, TCM practitioners, massage therapists. Because we understand how the body works, how it functions, not just physiologically, but body, mind, and soul. So giving this book was a way to open these young people's minds to strategies and tactics that would help them navigate their life to have a better life. And I thought that was a great use of the President's Discretionary Fund. What I want you to think about today, how you're investing in yourself. What's your discretionary fund? I'll tell you the number one resistance to chiropractic, other than misinformation and misunderstanding, is probably a lack of or inability, but sometimes just the choice not to invest. If it's not covered by health benefits, it's not covered by OHIP, but I'll tell you, just like everything else in life, sometimes when you're following what everybody else is doing, you're going to get what everybody else has got. And when it comes to health, you don't want to follow the statistics. You want to break the mold. You want to bend the curve. So you got to do something different. <laughs> and uh, I think you got to invest in yourself more when it comes to your health. And when you do, your richness in your life is going to become dramatically a lot higher. So that's my thought for today. Function, food, fitness. But you got to focus on where you're putting your finances. You got to invest in yourself, especially your health, so you can have a good future. And then you're going to have some great experiences every day. All right? So get out there, create those experiences, 
I'm going to catch you next time.